All right, so the area of a triangle. There are two different ways that you guys can find the area. The first one is half of your base times your height. It is the same thing as saying do your base times height and then divide it by two, okay? Taking half of a number, so multiplying by one half is the same thing as dividing by two. So this is probably the one that you guys are gonna be a little more comfortable with because there's no fractions in there. You just have to divide at the end, okay? Um, so if you wanna just kinda start this one, that's the one that you're probably gonna be using this year. I'm gonna go through and explain to you why the area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So give me a second to pull my other screen. So right here, I just have a normal piece of paper. And what I did is I cut it on a diagonal. So from one corner to the other corner, I cut it in half. Can everybody see this? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is the area of this rectangle up here? Jamie? Um, How do you find the area of a rectangle? Base times height. Base times height. Do we all agree with that? Yeah. Okay, so if this down here is the base, and this up here is the height, all you do is base times height. But if I split this right here, and I do a little turning, rotating, we should call it, and I take these two triangles, what can I say about these two triangles if I cut this perfectly? What are they? Congruent. They're congruent, which means they're exactly the same. Okay, if these two things are exactly the same, then one of these triangles is how much of the big rectangle? Half. It's half of it. So if I find the area of the big rectangle, base times height, which is the beginning part of the area of your triangle, and I divide it by two, I am left with the area of the triangle. Does everybody see that? So let's come back. And I'm gonna kind of draw on this, tri this green triangle up here. So we have 12 inches, 14 inches, and then seven inches. And what I'm gonna do is kind of turn this into a really quick rectangle. And then we're gonna find the area of the triangle. So if this is my rectangle, what's my base? Is 14 my base of this big rectangle? No, what's my base of base is the bottom? What's the bottom? 12. It's 12. Right, if this is my rectangle and 12 is up here, then that means 12 is down here, right? And then which one is my height? 7 inches. 7 inches, the one that's perpendicular to your base. Okay, so let's find the area of the big rectangle, which is base times height. What's 12 times 7? 84. So 84 is the area of this whole rectangle, but is that what we want? No, we want half of the rectangle because we want the triangle. So we're gonna take 84 and we're gonna divide it by two. Help me out, two goes into eight, four times. Bring down the four. How many times is two going four? Two. two. Okay, so this whole thing is 84 inches squared. This triangle over here is 42 inches squared, and this triangle over here is 42 inches squared. So the area of this beginning triangle, let me erase these lines now. The area of this first triangle that you guys drew in your notebook is what? 42. 42 inches squared. Okay, so I'm gonna write that up here. 42 inches squared. But now I want the perimeter. How do you find the perimeter of anything, Kylie? You add all the sides together. You add all of the sides. Well, let's look at our side. Let's pretend we're a little ant. And we're going to start in one of these corners. And we're going to walk our way around this whole entire triangle. So if this ant walks this length right here, what is it? 14. 14. And then he walks across the top up here, which is what? 12. And then he walks down back to where he started? 7. Seven. So if we add these together, we have 14. We have 12, and then we have seven. What's six plus seven? 13. 13, carry the one. 33. 33. So how far did the ant walk? 33 inches. 33 inches. That is long distance for an ant. Okay, questions on this first one? 
All right, let's move on to the next one. This one down here is a little bit different, okay? I gave you up here this little dotted line because I was telling you that that was the height. But in this case, the height was the same thing as one of the sides, okay? In this case, it's not. The height is always perpendicular to your base. So my base is what? 3.2, 3 and 2 tenths, okay? My height goes from this point, and I can do it anywhere on a triangle, and it goes straight up to the tip, 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 top of my triangle, which is right here. Okay, so they usually take it, this is called the vertex up here. It's where two of these segments meet. So they usually just take wherever the vertex is on the triangle and they drop it straight down to the base. That's usually where you're gonna see your height. Okay, and that's what they did with our parallelograms as well. They went to the tip top and they dropped it straight down. Remember we talked a little bit about that this side, if we put a person in here, and I drew a person, I don't remember who I drew in this class. But if he's standing sideways like this and we tip him upwards, his head's gonna go up to here, right? About, so this is not the height. This is just a side. This is the height. You have to be standing straight up in order for that to be the height, okay? So here, what's our base? 3.2, and what's our height? Four, so we have to do this first, base times height. Help me out, four times two? Eight. Four times three? Twelve. And then my decimal goes where? Three. Oh, wait. Two over. How many over? One. One over. Remember, you count your decimals. We Our decimal's really over here on a whole number. So my answer is 12.8. Am I done? No. No. What do we still have to do? By three. Divide by two. Okay. Right now, if I continue this line down right here, and I continue this line down right here, and I'll highlight it since I have lots of lines going on right now. Okay, what I just made, well, it's not really square. It looks like one, but it's not. I did 3.2 times height of 4. I did base times height. I just found the area of all of this. Do I want all of this? No, I want half of it. So I need to take this, and I have to divide it by 2. So let me erase this, and I'm just going to divide. All right, I got it. So decimal straight up, how many times does 2 go into 12? 6. That's 12, we subtract, we get zero, bring down the eight. How many times did two go into eight? Four times. So our area of this red triangle right here is 6.4 what? The squared. Cubed is volume. Cubed is when you multiply three things together. All we did was feet times feet, so that's feet squared. Perimeter, we have to go back and add all the sides. Now that I made a mess of my triangle, let's see if I can uncover some of it. All right, so let's pretend we're ant again. Oh, it doesn't like me over there. So I'm going to start down here in the corner and walk my way all the way around. So what's this one? 3.2. 3.2. I'm going to write it right here. And then I'm going to walk up this way. What is it? No. No. Four is this one. What is it? It's 3.5. Do you guys see those dashes in there? This dash is the same thing as this dash, which means 3.5, this side is congruent to this side. So this is 3.5, and then what's this one? 3.5. 3.5, so I'm gonna add all those together and make sure you line up your decimals. We want five, not two. Make sure you're doing this with me. Five, 10, plus two, 12. Here's my decimal, carry the one. 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3? 10. 10. So my answer is what? 10.2. Feet. Very good. Questions? All right. I'm going to have you guys do it on your own. Let's go ahead and do... Here, I'm going to make it a little bit easier for you. This one right here, because... Oh, give me a second. And I'm going to help you out. There we go. Because that's the one on the top right corner. And then I'll have you guys keep working on the other ones. 
So, who can tell me how you find the area of a triangle? Chantel. Good. 6.1 times 5, and then am I done after that, Chantel? Very good. So we multiply our base times height. So let's do that first. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Count your decimals. Where's my decimal at, on this 5? Is it at the beginning or the end? The end. Very good. So I have 0 here. So 1 all together. So my answer, 30.5. Is that it? Yeah. Is that my answer? Yeah. No. No. You have to divide by 2. So I'm just going to split it up and divide right here, and I'm going to erase this. How many times does 2 go into 3? Once. Once. That's 2. We subtract, bring down the 0. How many times does 2 go into 10? 5. That's 10. Subtract, bring down the 5. How many times does 2 go into 5? 2. That's four, so right now I have a remainder of one. What do I have to do? Add a zero. Add a zero. Very good. How many times is two going to ten? Five. Five times. So the area of this triangle is 15.25 what? Square. What first? Centimeters. Centimeters squared. You need the unit in there. My perimeter. If I'm a little ant and I start in this corner, how far do I walk on the bottom? Five centimeters. Five centimeters. Then what about this one? 7.2 7 .2 centimeters. And then what about this one? 6.2 centimeters. So I don't use my height on this one. Some of them you will, some of them you won't. So we have 7.2 plus 6.2. And then where am I going to put my five? Right here or under the twos? Under the twos. Where's my decimal? My decimal's at the end. So you have to line up the decimals, fill it in with a zero. Add those, bring your decimal down. We get four, and then what? 18. So we get 18.4 what? Centimeters. Centimeters. Very good. Go ahead and continue with the last three. We'll go through them in about five minutes. So see how far you can get on those.